What's up, Colliders? Welcome back to another episode here of Worlds Collide Presents Gaming with JW and Steve Talks. I'm joking. What's up, Colliders? We're back. Uh, GTA 6, Miss Steve Talks. It's your favorite game, right? The hell? That's my favorite game. It's our favorite game. So You played it yet. Hell, so, we gotta make it to the end of next year. I played it, and it's amazing. Bruh, stop. I, how you gonna tell me to stop when I have? You ain't played this damn game. I gotta test, I'm a tester. Anyways. <laughs> Lies. Alright. Anyways, sign an NDA. So anyways, everybody has seen the trailer for GTA 6. I was gonna say GTA 5. <laughs> <laughs> and I like it. Yeah, I like it too. I like it, but... I like but it. I still gotta make it to the end of 2025 to experience it's only it. Only one more year. Ooh, that's 12 months. <laughs> and some change because we know it ain't coming out oh, the yeah. beginning of the year. Also, breaking news here: GTA 6 will drop holiday season 2025. Of course. <laughs> so you heard it here first. Let's run it. From TG. We've all seen the GTA 6 trailer at least five times by now, I'm sure. And I know why you clicked on this video. You want to know how big the GTA 6 map is. Look, I'm not going to waste any of your time. Here's the difference between GTA 6 and GTA 5. Yeah, that's roughly what the difference in size is going to be. GTA 6 is going to be at least twice as big. But I'm hoping you stick around for the rest of the video because I have a lot more I want to talk to you about. One of them is how on earth we even have this map. And the other is how great this map is going to look. We're going to compare it to GTA 5 as well as real life Miami just to show you how good this is going to look. Okay, so first things first, how do we even have this map? Like, what is this map? Well, this is actually a community mapping project. So what that means, if you're unaware, in September of 2022, and I know a lot of you probably aren't aware about this because you're only just hearing about GTA 6 now. So if you're unaware, in 2022, a hacker actually hacked into Rockstar and they leaked 90 clips of gameplay development footage. Now with this tweet on your screen here, Rockstar actually did confirm that this was real. What's interesting about that footage is the entire time there were coordinates on the screen. So what very talented people have done is gone and used those coordinates that we saw in the 2022 leaks and mapped them out. As you can see here, these little white dots, those are from the September 2022 leaks. And they've basically gone and mapped out all of these different little locations that we saw the characters in and all of the things that the characters were seeing, like these buildings, for example. And when we zoom out, combining all of these coordinates, you can actually see we get a pretty good idea of what the city and the map is going to look like. Now, this map has also now been updated to combine footage from the trailer as well. So I believe these yellow dots are from the trailer. And if we take away the latest update... You can see that this map has been developed. This one, hold on, we'll talk about this one in a second. But you can see the map has been updated as we get more and more info available. Now, this map you might have actually seen floating around the internet. This is basically just speculation. What's disappointing is even sites like IGN have come out and claimed that this is the GTA 6 map. It's just not. This is probably roughly what it's going to look like, but this is not what the final map is going to look like. We can tell because the community actually did the same thing for GTA 5, and we'll have a look at the map here. So this is GTA 5's community mapping project. So I mean, it's still close. All right. Obviously very, very different, especially when you get out to parts like Sandy Shores and the Alamo Sea. It's very different. But when you have a look at the actual Los Santos City itself, it's almost identical. And that's what it's going to be like for the GTA 6 map as well. So if we take away this speculation map, here we zoom in and we get a very, very accurate look at parts of what this city is going to look like when it eventually comes out. So let's dive in and get a bit of a closer look. So just over here, the North and South Beach, this is where we saw one of those opening shots of the trailer. And I'll put it on the screen now. You can see the difference between GTA and real life. This is a photo of actually someone who went out in Miami the day after the trailer came out put a drone up, and this is a drone shot. So as you can see, the two look very, very similar. Rockstar absolutely nailed it. You can see in the background that the city is a bit closer in GTA 6. Obviously, yeah, Vice cool. City is not actually going to be as big as Miami, but still, Rockstar has done a really, really good job, and the graphics look awesome. Like, look if we compare to the beach of GTA 5 in terms of graphics. We have to remember, GTA 5, this was a PS3 game. I know it's been ported over to PS4, PC, and PS5, but the game was actually made for PS3, so Rockstar has skipped an entire generation. We haven't had a GTA that came out originally for PS4 or PS5. So the graphics, the density of pedestrians and foliage, it's just going to be sent to an entirely another level. 
level. Moving down to Ocean Drive here near South Beach. This is the shot we got of it in the trailer. It looks absolutely incredible at night. And this is what it looks like in real life. As you can see again, Rockstar absolutely nailed it. We can see the Ocean View Hotel even in this screenshot from the trailer. And the people who made this map even had a look at all of the names of the buildings that we could see in the trailer and mapped it out here on the map. As you can see, the Ocean View Hotel, Hotel Breakwater, Shore Park Hotel, etc. So I'll leave a link to this map in the description if you actually want to check it out yourself. It's a lot of fun just to fly around in this map here and have a look at all of the different buildings and locations. Moving down south, these are the keys. We're not sure if they're actually going to be called the Gator Keys. We know they will be called the Keys. These are based off the Florida Keys and as you you can see on your screen here, again, Rockstar has absolutely nailed it, even to the bridge that's not fully constructed down there. All of these details have been nailed to an absolute T. <laughs> Moving across from the beach, we can see the islands here. This was that nighttime shot in the trailer that looked awesome. So this is what it looked like in the trailer, and this is what it looks like in real life. So of course, we're not going to have all three islands like we have in real life. We're just going to have one of those main oval-shaped islands. But in terms of the style, again, it looks almost exactly the same. Rockstar has absolutely nailed it. Now, moving a bit further west again, we can see here the Mambas Stadium. So that is the Vice City Mambas, which is a basketball team. And we actually did get a shot of this in the trailer with Lucia in the back of the Pegasi Zaruso. Now, the Mambas Stadium is, of course, based off the Kaseya Stadium. I think I'm saying that right. I'm not from Miami. I liked it more when it was called the FTX Arena. But this is where the Miami Heat play. You can see that they're the same building by the little textures and the sort of pointy bit over this side of the stadium. Mm. Moving a bit further west again, over near Port Gellhorn, we can see the Leonidas State Prison. This was the very first shot of the trailer where we could see the prison that Lucia is in. And what's interesting is if you go a little bit further north, you can even see Hank's Waffle Diner. Now, if you're unaware of the September 2022 leaks again, this was actually the most popular clip that leaked when Jason and Lucia were robbing Hank's Waffle Diner. Now, I can't show the leaks, of course. Rockstar will just terminate my channel, like, on the spot. But basically what happened was Jason and Lucia robbed this diner. The cops came. They came out here, stole a car from out here, drove right and then drove down this highway here. As for Port Gellhorn itself, we don't know too much about it. We know there's going to be a raceway. And really, as for the whole map itself, there's been a lot of confusion. We'll just go back to this concept map for a second. Now, a couple weeks ago, a leaker kind of leaked that there would be three main cities, and this sort of got a lot of people confused. People really thought that that meant we would be getting three actual cities, or three maps, basically, in GTA 6. That's not what it meant. If you have a look at GTA 5's map, this map also has three cities, so it's got Los Santos down the bottom, Sandy Shores in the middle, and then Palito Bay yeah. at the top. That's what the leaker meant. So again, this is not accurate. This one, is likely very different two. to... So one, two, give or take three, but probably three. Mm, yeah, I'd say the top would be three, because this would just be a part of this. Yeah. What the map's going to look like, but if we're going to have a look at what the three cities are, we know one of them is, of course, Vice City here. The other is Port Gellhorn, somewhere over to the left, and then we don't really know what the third one's going to be. It could be Ambrosia here, or it could be maybe another city somewhere around here that we just don't really have the official layout or name for yet. But again, man, just looking at this is crazy to see how big this map is going to be. And if you're confused as to how they actually know the size difference, again, they just compared the coordinates that they had in the GTA 6 leaks with those of GTA 5, right? The units that they actually use in the engine are the same. So we can see here that, yeah, GTA 6 is going to be a lot bigger. Anyway, we'll wrap the video up there. I just wanted to make a quick video covering this because there's been a little bit of misinformation. I just wanted to clarify a few things. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more stuff like this. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Boys! I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> like I said, it's got to make it to the end of 2025. I will say. Because we're still more than a year out. I will say. I'm kind of being positive here. I will say that the leak so far is shaping up to be accurate because when you factor in all the, all the stuff, it's only coming out on the Xbox Series X and S and the... Uh, PS5. PS5, yeah. <laughs> forgot, forgot, I forgot about y'all. Mm. Um, I only have one. I only have one request for Rockstar. 
cross platform for online. Right. Like, come on now, cross platform. That sh- that should have been a thing. Because I don't want to have to sit there and buy a PS Five. I don't want to have to buy Xbox either. It's cheaper to buy an Xbox, more superior. But uh, please, it is. <laughs> it is. Only a person with an Xbox would say that. I play both systems. Thank you. So have I. That's a topic for another day. <laughs> but uh, I like GT. I mean, it's. I feel like it's gonna be good. I I was mad. Look, when I saw the trailer. I was mesmerized. As long as the storyline is going to be good. I mean, I think the focus is more or less on the arm. Like, yeah, the storyline's going to be good. So it's going to keep you in bed. And keep you, I'll say it's probably going to be about $120 worth of story time. That's cool. Uh, which is like about nonstop playing that breaks down to about a week Depending on the length of the missions. Huh? Depending on the length of the missions. Yeah. Uh, but I'm, I'm excited because I was, like I said, I was mesmerized by the graphics. Seeing all their clothes and stuff, I hope we can have the same access to the clothes, especially for online. Um, right. That part. And I hope our customizations is definitely good, because I'm tired of these ugly characters we got now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's, I like it, man. It's, yeah. it's going to be good. Uh, I'm definitely going to pre-order it. Um, I'm definitely going to put in some PTO. Um, we all are. <laughs> I'm also going to, I'm definitely going to buy some shark cards when they come out with the online. Um, I'm not doing that. I'm not struggling. I struggled the last three generations. Well, not the third, because the first generation I struggled, because you could just keep the money going on. <laughs> but I struggled the first generation. I'm not no, doing you that. poor thing. I'm, well, when it first came, when GTA... I had hacker context. So. Yeah, when GTA <laughs> 5 first came out on the PS3, Xbox, in the Xbox, it was Hacker City. <laughs> Only on the PlayStation and PC version, though, because ours was, our security is too hard for hacking shit. So... This time around, I told myself, you know what? I'm not going to, when the next GTA come out, I'm not going to struggle. Only for them to come out with GTA 5 for the umpteenth time. But this GTA, GTA 6, I'm going to. You determined to not be broke. I'm not going to be broke. I'm gonna, I will go ahead and spend $100 on a shower card. Y'all, ain't nobody gonna get no Christmas gift here. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm just gonna make sure my people make sure that we're all still here. Make sure they just give me cash like they did this year, so I can get the gift cards, so I can get some shark cards. Okay. I'm not going broke this time. <laughs> no, I'm not. As always, collabs. If you enjoyed this reaction, go ahead and hit the like button. Yeah. Share it with someone who you think would like it as well. If you're not a collider, I don't know why you're not. As you can see, we talk about just about everything. Everything. Um, if you want to check out this YouTuber's YouTube channel or any of his other content, of course, the links will be in the description below, along with where you can find me and the official JW on our own individual YouTube channels as well. Anything else you want to add? Nah, I'm good, y'all. Later. Bye, y'all.